Well, I, I think d4 was a fine move, but here he very quickly played cd4. And I don't understand, I understand the move. I understand that it's the most natural move, the first move you think of. I don't understand the rush to make it. Yeah. Because obviously he thought about knight takes d4, they were talking about it. So And this was the line they were talking about for the record, bishop b3, queen b3, and b4. But then Magnus suggested the very move you were analyzing with Yvonne. Yeah. And if you're in Jan's shoes and you see this position, this is very committal for black and very positionally risky. Why not spend some more time and, and think about the possible implications of this? Instead, you go for another line where Magnus' moves all flow very naturally. Knight g6, c5, etc. So here, they mentioned the move queen to e5. We heard that more than once, the move queen to e5. And they were saying that black is equalizing here. I don't understand why black equalizes here. I just don't get it. If white plays... Um, there's a number of moves, even queen to d3. Even even e pawns f3, by the way, but okay. Even, even f3. We'll go queen d3. But I just noticed that queen to d3, well, you can't move the knight because from e7 because of knight c6 wins a piece. If you play c5 here, you might think, oh, I've got some tactical stuff going on. f4 is also an option, but let's say knight to b5. I just saw a tactic here. Queen takes b2, bishop to d4. Huh. C takes d4, rook e to b1. That queen is trapped. Man, Bobby feeling fresh. 